What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, today, I'm going to Desiado with my friend uh, Jazip in his Corvette. Desiado is a garage owned by one of the members in NFR, Tan. Uh, he owns Evilzilla. And we're gonna be headed there for a spacers install. We're gonna see how that works out for his Corvette. He ordered spacers from Corvette Mods. So if any Corvette guys, uh, you guys can sort of have uh, like a little review as to if they fit, they work. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a test trial run and seeing if they fit, they, they work well. And then after that, we're gonna be visiting Club 27. It's a little private garage by the airport area. So it's just a little vlog we have planned for today just to showcase what a Saturday is like for car guys like the NFR crew. Uh, just, you know, little things here and there. And that's what we're gonna try bringing to you guys. So stay tuned for the vlog. At the local uh, car wash, we just get our, we just rinse it down. Usually we go to the detailers to get the car wash, but um, today we just have to go. So we just came here, started rinsing the car down and we'll be out of the way. We need to go to the mechanic to get some spacers installed on his vet today. We got a Panda wash today. Quickly rinse it off. Jazzy, he's with the Corvette. You're gonna wash it off from the two. already finished up with he's gonna wash his uh car uh, yo bro what are you doing no no no, no. why are you doing that no just bro the pressure washer so guys so we're just here at uh, this auto he's one of the guys from NFR um, so actually the Corvette needed spacers so the two guys Rankin and this auto so we got like a, um, another member surprisingly another member's car showed up with a flat tire a Tesla but I think he has run flats um, and then we're gonna do the spacers say hi yo to the head of the camera obviously say hi to the camera again <laughs> So what we're doing is we're trying to put spacers here and uh, the spacers are hub centric so they first clip onto the car itself and then sort of um, they go on out the wheels go on after. Just uh, to let you know uh, Rankin Auto and this other two mechanic guys that we deal with in NFR the two good members of ours. This is the owner, Tan. On, uh, he owns the shop. He's actually the one that has the Evilzilla, the, the GTR, the wide body GTR. Who's a wide body bike? Varus. Oh, Varus. Uh, and Varus it's not here right now, but it's gonna be at Import Expo, and we're gonna have a booth there. So make sure you guys check that out. And uh, he's gonna bring all the, uh, his booth with all the NFR cars in there. And again, we're just trying to get all this work done on the car right now, and obviously, the Tesla, but uh, this guy's birthday today, Amrit. <laughs> uh, that's how it usually is, you know, Saturday, Sunday, we just bring the cars for little things here and there. Usually not flat tires, but you know. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's a, he has a C63 uh, S. Yeah, S Coupe, yeah. So, um, at the end of the day, like everybody's just kind of getting their cars out now. So, I'll keep you guys updated with this once we get some progress made and uh, you'll see how spacers are installed on a Corvette because I don't know myself. He's putting the, the real spacers on now and at this point, they're hub-centric so what they do, it actually goes on to the actual 
uh, bearing itself like that, like the actual, yeah, there you go. And then they bolt on and then the wheel bolts on after. Is this safe? Pretty safe, yeah. Pretty safe, he says it's pretty safe. Our mechanic says it's pretty safe. Yeah. <laughs> That's safe, he says it's safe, it's safe. Uh, it'll look a lot better because what it is is he's got the carbon fiber bits uh, coming out. And the issue with the carbon fiber is it brings uh, the body panel out. So you want the, the, the wheel to be flush for a good uh, fitment. And he's not getting aftermarket rims anytime soon. So what's gonna happen is he's gonna get the spacers installed just for now. Do you have rear spacers or? No, right? Just the front only? And uh, this is Ducky. You're gonna see a lot more of him. Uh, Tan, I don't know, he just sleeps in his uh, cot all day, so. <laughs> so just to let you know, um, the Corvette, it's, it's a great car. Um, but what he's done to this car, it's requiring spacers. Otherwise, it doesn't really require spacers. It's just the carbon fiber bits and pieces. And on, on a side note, uh, he makes carbon fiber parts. So if you ever need, he designs parts and uh, custom parts for any type of cars. So hit him up on, what's your Instagram? Uh, T-A-R-A underscore vet. T-A-R-A underscore vet. And again, he, cut, he can AutoCAD any parts and carbon fiber for you, pens, any small little details. Uh, it doesn't matter. So all these things are kind of, they're, um, I, I, what did you, Joe, you put all the stuff together yourself, right, pretty much? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this is sort of his thing. And um, even though it's a little bit of a tricky process with carbon fiber, because if it breaks, it's really expensive. It's supposed to fit perfect. Does it bang in? Maybe bang it in. Yeah, because uh, sometimes. Just see this slip here? Yeah. Oh That's what maybe. You wanna like. Let's grab a hammer. <laughs> so, guys, uh, just remember uh, this might not be the right way to do it, but sometimes a hammer is the best choice uh, tool. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, this? Yeah. I don't know, I'm trying to see if it'll maybe lock in. Yeah. They can get anything anywhere. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. Oh, you know what you do? Don't grind it, just put some grease on it. Grease on it, yeah. So, uh, so he's saying that the BMW spacers are the same bore size and we just had sort of a difficulty trying to get it into the groove, but they should fit because uh, they're original Corvette mod parts. Uh, Jackie's a man. <laughs> so he got metal in his tire. What? No, actually not not him. Who got the metal? <laughs> okay. So anyways, uh, it's a Tesla tire. We don't know if it's a run flat, so we'll check that out too. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, but I, they haven't dealt with a Tesla tire before, so I don't know how that works. So I'll update you guys on these spacers after. Uh, and then we're gonna do like some clips, exhaust clips, and uh, drive-bys and stuff. So I'll see you guys then. Foam inside. <laughs> so the foam inside the Tesla tire, um, it's not a run flat, is it? It is, yeah. Oh, it's a run flat, okay. So can those be repaired? Yeah, don't oh, worry. Okay. I'll get it done. They'll get it done. That's a Desi Automotive. <laughs> So get it done. That's dope though. I don't know why they would put foam in there. It's for the sound. It uh, also uh, helps the sound. Oh, sound, okay. So if we stick foam in our tires, are good? <laughs> That's dope, bro. Wait, the last time I, I had a plug, they're like, the only car that they've ever seen is this. A test, like Tesla's, uh, Range Rovers, and Rolls Royce. Yeah. But yo, how do you, how do you, how are you liking the Tesla? It's pretty good. Yeah? It's quiet though, but okay. it's good. And like, how many, like, uh, what's the, uh, how much does it take on turn? Like, no, it doesn't have a tank, I mean like charge wise. Uh, what is it? It's about like 300 kilometers, 320-ish. Okay. You can get like higher end ones with like four or 500 kilometers. Okay. Yeah, so it varies depending on the, the model that you get. Oh, that's dope bro. So, and then overnight you can just charge it, right? Yeah, it takes a couple okay. hours to charge. That's actually pretty good for the city, man. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. That's actually awesome. Let's go. Wow, I've never seen foam in a car before, so. <laughs> it was, this is how in the wheel was uh, compared to before. So if you see the difference, like you can't even see the wheel, it's kind of inside. So we installed the spacer on this side and now it's nice, it's flush and on the outside, see?
Just gonna go for a little test run and see if the, the wheel's good and it doesn't... Watch out in the back, watch out in the back. Perfect. Uh, jug, uh, tank, close the door, we'll be back. Okay, so we're just gonna go test out the, the actual wheel itself and uh, see if it's not wobbling. All right, buddy. Damn, it does feel nice to be in a convertible. It make me want to get a convertible now, bro. <laughs> if, it, if it's good, it, uh, it's a good investment. It looks so nice on the car, man. Bro, honestly, the drop top life is amazing. <laughs> this feels so good. Because it won't really vibrate under 80 kilometers. You want to take the highway? Yeah, just get on the highway and come back out, okay? If it vibrates a little bit, it's fine because it is, it's not fine, but you can get those, you can get that check, but at the same time, it shouldn't because they're, uh, they're uh, hub centric. Sweet tea, yeah. Sporten? Sweet tea things. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, then just come back out, yeah. No, I'm good. I have a hat on. So if it's after 120, it's not shaking, it's perfectly fine. But when it's shaking, you're not going to feel the shake. Yeah, you're going to feel the shake. The so then, you, so yo, on this road, when you're coming back, just try going at 120 and you're good. You don't really got to go on the highway. Better check Yeah. And then we'll get torque. We'll get torque cooler. Yeah, we'll that's torque. true. But torque's on the rear wheels. It doesn't hit the front. See true Canadians? <laughs> three, de what is it, three degrees outside and we have the drop top off. But you know what? It's, it's actually really warm in the car. It's not even cold. Uh, yeah. Um, we got spectators on the side just looking at us like we're crazy, but it's okay. So <laughs> we had to go test out the spacers. I didn't want like, you know, you wobbling or wobbling steering wheel, like a shaking steering wheel. So it is what it is. Shaking at 150 before? No. Up to you if you want to drive 150 all the time. 120. One, 115, how is that? 120. But yo, if you grab the steering wheel really hard at 150, you still keep going. No? Get off on Queen and come back this way. We're just headed to the airport area to take pictures with the Corvette and the R8. It's where the planes land. Uh, it's usually on Airport Road. So that's behind like a gas station. And that area itself is an open parking lot and, and a lot of people go spectate. And we're gonna go take some pictures so I'll show you guys some background, kind of back to back of the scenes type of thing. And I'm just driving the R8 right now to there because Saturday and it's a nice day. It's been a while since we actually got out So yeah, just a casual meeting up with friends kind of driving and uh, going doing some fun shoots and whatnot I brought my camera with me and uh, Yeah, it's a little bit It's not as easy as uh, it looks to drive the damn manual with the camera, but it's okay You get used to it. I guess right 
And uh, wow, like look at that, like the weather's nice and people have their motorcycles out. <laughs> I'm telling you, once uh, spring is in full fledge, oh, I can't wait for this season, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so much fun. And Pearson Airport has some of the best uh, areas to take shots with the, the planes landing. And obviously we brought our DSLR camera just so we can get some nice shots, like poster shots. And yeah, let's uh, head there and see what's going on. So we're just here at Club 27 now. Uh, some of the guys just store their cars here. And then we've got this wide body vet you guys probably seen around with HREs. That's beautiful. Damn, man. So the, the wide body kit was uh, obviously aftermarket, I'm guessing, right? Okay, unique. Oh, so this is a personal uh, uh, wide body kit that was made in house. Okay, gotcha. So th this isn't sort of like anything that's available in like here manufacturer. And so they're just doing the regular maintenance before the season starts. Damn, man, that's impressive. So then, uh, so is was this originally a Z06 or it was a Stingray and then converted? Stingray. Okay, Stingray. Stingray. And then what, what kind of exhaust is this? A Quapo. Okay, dope, man. That's fucking insane. Okay, okay, wicked. Damn, man, that's some nice work. This, this Corvette's loud. I seen it at the the toy drive. Yeah. Sorry, not the toy drive. The the charity drive. Yeah. Uh, Michael brought it. It was nice, man. It's beautiful. Very well done. Should wrap it like some next insane color. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, man? What's up? Say hi. Good. Is that the new Mustang? Yeah, that's my buddy. It's my oh, buddy. okay, okay. No, it's a fucking beautiful color, man. I don't think I'm supposed to swear. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Bleep that out. <laughs> yeah, bro. Go for it. We, we were just here in the area taking pictures. <laughs> oh, I don't care, man. Doesn't matter. That's wicked. <laughs> bro, I'm so sore oh, right now. <laughs> My fingers are numb. So uh, this is like kind of the warehouse that they uh, store their cars in, and this is one of my buddy's new Corvette. And yeah, so it's like winter storage in a sense, and you got like these nice, wicked-looking cars. Damn, it's beautiful. So these these people that um, basically have a warehouse, and it's like their own. They got the simulator for gaming, they got a pool table, uh, they got a uh, track car focused for simulator. So it's a simulator, what the hell? Wow, look at that. It's a simulator with an F1 car. Wow. And then you got the Porsches and the GT3 RS over there in the back. Wicked. Yeah, man, anyways, guys, uh, we're just here. We're just helping out um, my buddy here. Uh, we were taking some photos. We ended up here, uh, this is Club 27, and it's sort of like a private space for some of these guys. It's a warehouse that they rent out and do their thing. Uh, yeah, and to be honest with you, uh, one day I'll probably have my own. <laughs> so it's great. What's going on guys? I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. They're just little vlogs here and there, just kind of showcasing everything that goes on throughout our lives. It's, uh, you know, trying to make it fun for you guys to watch as well. So it was a great day at Dissy Auto and a great day at Club 27. Thank you for everybody that uh, was there and made that a fun day for us. Uh, we did get the spaces installed. So for our next few videos, we'd like your recommendations, maybe what you guys want to see, what type of cars you want to uh, review, what type of topics you want us to cover. And we'll be gladly, you know, uh, doing that for you guys because this is all about you. And, um, we're just kind of having fun with this YouTube thing and it's been a great so far, a great, a great success for us. So please uh, uh, let us know in the comment section what you would like us to do reviews on, uh, what type of content you want to see from NFR, maybe some sort of uh, people you want to see, maybe some sort of uh, cars you want to see, and we'll try to get that through on YouTube for you guys. And thank you for all the support so far, and make sure you guys subscribe, like, like and comment. And until next time, uh, this is V10 Panda logging out. <laughs>